Australian cherries are a highly valued fresh horticulture export. The Australian cherry industry has a total value of $190 million and exports worth $80 million. In previous seasons, Victorian cherry growers have been able to export to over 30 countries annually. Traceability enables cherries to be tracked from the tree to the table. Transitioning to automated on-farm traceability is important for our industry. Automated on-farm traceability allows growers to gather detailed data about their orchards, production, harvest, packing, and dispatch systems. It's vital that the cherry industry develops automated on-farm traceability to support increased production in the future. Cherry Growers Australia has partnered with Agriculture Victoria to run a traceability project for the cherry supply chain on behalf of our industry. We search the world for the best cherry varieties that deliver on quality, firmness and flavour. Cherry Hill grows, packs and markets cherries for export. Key markets include Hong Kong, Singapore, China, Vietnam, Malaysia and India. In a typical season, we export over 100,000 boxes of cherries. In this pilot, we've implemented several new traceability measures. RFID technology is quite exciting and it lets us automate the tracking of our fruit from harvest, packing and dispatch processes. Automation helps us with the increased volume year on year that we're producing. RFID technology automates and streamlines what was otherwise manual process. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. At its simple level, it is made up of RFID labels, RFID hardware or readers, and also RFID software. For this pilot, we've introduced our RFID traceability solutions at Cherry Hills Orchards. RFID traceability on the farm enables automated capture of harvest fruit data, together with its picking location and variety. RFID labels are applied to each bin. RFID labels are programmed with a unique identifier which are linked back to specific information for the bins of fruit harvested at the orchard. RFID labels on the bins are read by RFID readers which are mounted at various locations. When the harvested fruit bins arrive at the Packhouse Receival Shed, their RFID labels are read by RFID readers which are mounted on portals at the receiving dock. RFID traceability on arrival at the Packhouse Receival Shed enables cross-checking of the previous farm data. RFID labels on the bins are read by RFID readers at the robot loading docks. This checks that the bins are associated with the current batch that's being processed. RFID labels on the bin relate to the correct batch, their status is automatically updated, and then the bins are used for the current production order. RFID labels on pallets are read by the RFID readers at dispatch. Firstly, this tracks the pallets according to the batch and the sales orders. Secondly, when the pallet leaves the pack house, the RFID system confirms that the pallets have left the facility. We have developed integration API software between the RFID inventory tracking platform and the enterprise resource planning system, the ERP. These on-farm traceability systems have given Cherry Hill real-time visibility of their product from orchard to processing to dispatch. The ERP platform that we have used provides a single source of truth data to the business. An enterprise resource planning ERP software system helps you run your entire business supporting automation and processes in production, inventory, supply chain, services, finance and many, many more. Automation of these systems has enabled Cherry Hill to replace manual systems which leads to faster, more accurate processes that accommodate growth in their future business. GS1 traceability standards are being used in this project to future-proof our export products. Traceability requirements are increasing from governments and businesses around the world and the GS1 standards enable our products to be tracked and traced using an international common language for data. 
Traceability has become a really important factor in the supply chain, more so now than we've ever seen before. Um, and the reason is that governments, consumers, retailers, manufacturers themselves need to have the data that allows them to have complete visibility within their supply chain. And GS1 standards are the foundational piece that allows all that to happen. In this pilot, the key GS1 standards being used are the global location number, the GLN, for identification of physical locations, the global trade item number known as a GTIN for product identification and the serial shipping container code known as the SSCC for identifying logistical units. From the farm to the end product there's a very very long supply chain so what is the product, where has it been, what's happened to it, where is it going. GS1 standards enable businesses to capture and share traceability data. They actually allow everyone in that supply chain to be able to track and trace that product in a way that's consistent. Tracking these data points enables better preservation of food quality, less food wastage and delivery of fresh produce to customers. The pace of adoption is growing around the world with around 500,000 products per day being added into the GS1 Global Registries. 30% of these products and companies are in the Asia Pacific region. It's vital that the cherry industry develops automated on-farm traceability to support increased production in the future. Automated on-farm traceability can help with farming techniques, plant health, and quality assurance. It can also pinpoint issues such as quality, food safety, or biosecurity incidents back to the packing shed or a specific orchard block. Radio frequency identification, or RFID, is clearly a technology that will make automated traceability a reality in the horticulture industry. We need to continue to investigate and test the technology so its application becomes more affordable and easier to use to the point it becomes more widely adopted by the whole industry.